Hello guys, welcome to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Seven Engineering updates. Today we are going to discuss the one of the important topic, this Poisson ratio. So first of all, we have to define the Poisson ratio. That what is Poisson ratio? It is actually the ratio of the two technical terms: the strain, uh, it is the lateral strain, to the longitudinal strain, to the longitudinal strain. I will explain it by taking an example here of any cylinder that may be of any material, it may be of concrete, it may be of clay or aluminium. So it is a cylinder and when we apply the force on it, let's suppose its force F is acting on the uh, is a compression, so uh, it, will, it will compress like that, it will compress and it will expand in natural direction, right? So the volume here compresses in the longitudinal direction. This is the longitudinal axis of the, uh, the cylinder. While this we call is the lateral axis of the cylinder. So uh, it compresses and while lateral it expands. So uh, the ratio of this uh, lateral, lateral strain, how much change occurs in its lateral, this change and this chain, lateral strain, uh, we divide it by the longitudinal strain. This is the longitudinal strain. How much it uh, compresses in the longitudinal direction. So dividing these two terms, we get the Poisson ratio. Uh, for example, uh, if it if it compresses by a lateral strain, it expands uh, uh, as a uh, as d delta d uh, by the original uh, d. So this is the change in the uh, the, the, the lateral direction divided by the longitudinal strain. The longitudinal strain is the, take this is the original length L, and this is the original D. D. So uh, the longitudinal strain will be change in length divided by the original length. So dividing this uh, lateral strain, and this is the longitudinal strain. So dividing these two quantities over one another, we get the Poisson ratio of this material. How much is the Poisson ratio? And Poisson ratio actually shows the uh, ductility of material, or uh, we can say the elasticity of material. Uh, the more Poisson ratio of material have, and the more will be the uh, elastic material. Uh, this is some of the list of Poisson ratio. Poisson ratio of some of the material. Uh, uh, Poisson ratio of the clay is 0 0.30. It's less elastic material. This is a clay, and copper has 0 0.33 copper and uh, 0.40 is the saturated clay is more saturated clay more Poisson ratio and the maximum Poisson ratio is of the uh, rubber having Poisson ratio of 0 0.50 maximum Poisson ratio and generally this Poisson ratio uh, have a, the range of from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 uh, and it can never be zero because it shows that there is uh, it's an ideal material when it's Poisson ratio is zero. It means there is no literal uh, a literal uh, literal uh, change in the literal direction. So it never can be zero, but its range can be 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. And the list of Poisson ratio is uh, it shows the less ductility in the material, less elastic material. The more Poisson ratio, it is a more uh, ductile material and more uh, elastic material. Right, and the concrete generally has a Poisson ratio of uh, 0 0.10. Concrete, high strength concrete, having the Poisson ratio of 0 0.10, while the low concrete strength having Poisson ratio of 0.2. And this is the, uh, th this was the little discussion about the Poisson ratio. And, uh, and please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates. Thank you for watching our video.